So here we have the Ford Focus on a 62 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside, you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat, should you wish to increase this space even further. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's what we're seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter, and on the right-hand side, the speedometer. In the middle at the bottom, we have the fuel gauge and coolant temperature gauge, and above that, we have the trip computer, which includes the total miles for this car of 64,982. The information displayed in that central section can be changed by using buttons on the steering wheel, and as you can see, you get various different bits of individual trip computer info, all these four pieces all stored or shown uh, simultaneously. We back out to the steering wheel. The buttons I was using a moment ago are over here. Beneath that, we have your phone and stereo controls. And on the left-hand side, we have cruise control and speed limiter. Over in the center, we have the main stereo itself. So the screen, obviously, as you can see, and then the buttons uh, that you would use down the side just here. So for example, when it comes to the radio, you will see that we have FM. This car's also got DAB and we'll have AM as well. And every push of that button will take you around to a different frequency until you're back round to the beginning again. This car's also got a CD player. And on top of that, we have Bluetooth audio, so you can stream your music wirelessly. We've got auxiliary input as well. Uh, so plenty of ways to listen to your music in this car. Working our way down from there, you can see the CD player just there and the buttons I was using a moment ago on the left-hand side here. We have deadlock, so you can lock the car doors from the outside. Beneath that, we have dual zone climate control. So you can adjust the passenger and driver temperature. You can increase and decrease the fan speed, just here. When you're happy with those settings, you can determine where you'd like the air to be distributed. The air conditioning is on at the minute, so off, back on again. Or hit auto, and the car will now maintain the temperatures you've asked for by taking full control of the fan speed for you. You can override that at any time you wish to to put it back on a manual setting. Underneath that, we have a heated front and rear screen. This button turns off the stop and start. This car is designed to cut out when it's stationary in traffic to save you fuel. So that system is now turned off. And then lastly, we have a six speed manual gearbox. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call us here at Glenbournes. We'd love to hear from you soon.